Greetings! I am Herbert Erpadurp, and today I'm going to build these Flames of War Ferdinand Heavy Assault Guns. Removing everything from the blister, you can see that there aren't a lot of parts to this model. This is good if you're looking for an easy build. You can see the hull is very nicely cast and well detailed. I chose Ferdinand's over the later modified version called Elephant because I like them better without the Zimmerit. The nice smooth armour looks awesome. The tracks are some of the best and cleanest looking metal tracks I've ever seen on a Flames of War kit. Very nice. Unfortunately, they don't quite fit perfectly, but some filing takes care of that easily enough. It took a bit more work than the metal tracks normally would because the mudguards are actually cast onto the track pieces and it's tricky to get them to line up correctly with the hull. But eventually I got it close enough and glued the tracks on. Now for the gun. It did have a little bit of flash and it was a little bit bent, but it was easily fixed with some filing and a little bit of gentle bending. I found that the pin that holds the gun in place was a little bit too long, so I trimmed it down with some cutters. Quite easy. Then I glued it in place. Just be careful that you mount it the correct way up. There are guides cast into the parts that help. And now, the hatches. These actually needed a fair bit of work, particularly the round one. Just be sure to test fit first and file them down as needed. As usual, I omitted the commander figure. And thus concludes a very simple build. I have no idea if I will ever use or need these beasts, they were just another impulse buy, but they do look really awesome. I'm a sucker for huge German armour. Once they're painted up, they'll look great with my Porsche Tiger. These models were really easy to put together, though some might have trouble with the mudguards matching up with the hulls. Some green stuff might come in handy there. A couple of mine had some gaps which I may fix with green stuff prior to painting, but I didn't feel like it today. These are pretty low on my list of priorities to paint at the moment, so I don't know when they'll get done. Someday. I will of course make a video of that when I get around to it, so subscribe and stick around for a while, and that will eventually happen. Hopefully this has been helpful in some way. Thanks for watching. Farewell.